In this tutorial, I'm gonna show you the steps to create this effect in which we see text behind a person. We're gonna use a free app and you can download this app on an Android device or an iPhone. This is going to be super easy. So if you guys are interested in this tutorial, let's go to my phone. Before we continue with the tutorial, I want to give credit to Emilio because I learned how to create this effect thanks to him. He has an amazing TikTok account and he creates his content in Spanish, but I guess you can also follow the steps that he shows on his TikTok, so I do recommend that you guys go and follow him. This is the app that we're gonna use today. It is called CapCut and it is free to download if you have an Android or iPhone. Everything that we're gonna do today is completely free. We are not going to use any pro feature. So let's open the app. Once you are inside the app, you're gonna click new project and this is going to give you access to your camera roll. I already recorded a couple of videos, so I'm going to show you the raw videos that I have in here. I think I'm going to use this one. So basically what I did is just do this action with my hands so I can show the text. Then I went down and went up again so I can create this effect of going in front of the text. Let me go back. Once you find the video that you want to use on your camera roll, you're going to select it and then click add. From here, I'm going to remove some sections that I don't want to have in my video. So I'm going to trim the beginning of this clip and I'm going to select my video and drag the lateral until the place where I want to start my video. I'm gonna do the same with the end of my video. So let me drag the lateral and leave it like this. Okay. Once your video is ready, you're going to select one of these empty sections so you deselect the video. When you select one of these empty areas, you will see that you now have a menu on the bottom of the screen. Select text and then add text. You can start typing your text in here. Once you have entered your text, you can change the font by selecting this option right here. You have a couple of different options, so you can browse around and see if you like any of these. I think I'm gonna go with bounce. And then you can also change the style, add effects. You can add a bubble effect and an animation. So let me show you what you can find under style. In here, you can add borders to your text, which I find pretty cool. So let me find one of them that I like. I think I'm going to go with this one. And then below you have some other options that you can choose. So you can actually change the color of your text from here. So you can either go for a red color in the middle or white color. And then you can also change the stroke color from here. You can change the color behind the text. You can add shadows to your text. You can change the spacing of your text or the position. You can also adjust the scale. And also you have the option to make your text bold. You can add the italics effect or you can underline your text. Once you are happy with your text, you can either select a text effect from this section, you can make your text as a bubble or you can add an animation. I'm gonna add an animation to this text. So let me see what do we have in here. There are so many different options that I really like, but for this tutorial, let's go for ease in right. I'm going to add this animation only in and then I'm going to select the check button. 
from here I'm gonna stretch my text until the end of my video. And here I want you to pay attention because there is a video that we would like to remove. At the end of our video we will have this little outro that says CapCut, tap to edit text. We're gonna delete this video. Once your video is ready with the text, we are going to download it. So go to the upper section of the screen and select this arrow icon. Once your video is ready, select done. Now we're going to open the same document again. We're going to position ourselves at the end of the video and then hit the plus icon. From here, we are going to select the same video that we just downloaded from the app. So we select the video and then hit add. Now, what we're gonna do is to select our original video, go to the menu below and select the option that says overlay. Now you will see that the video with the text is on top and the original video is below. What I would like to do is to go to the original menu and select text. What we're gonna do is to delete this text from the timeline because we don't need it anymore. So select it and then hit delete. So now we can go back to our previous menu. So you can see that the video that we set as overlay appears here as a bubble. So select the bubble. Then having the original video selected, you're gonna find the option called remove background. Wait a couple of seconds until the application has removed the background from your video. The time will depend on the length of your video. My video is relatively short, so it was really fast. What we're gonna do now is find the place where you go down, select the original video, and then in the menu below, search for the option split. We're gonna delete the first section of the video. So select it and then delete. So as you can see, the video with the text on top is complete, but the video with transparency is just the end part of the video. Right after you go down, the video with transparency starts. To download this video, go to the upper section and select the download button. I just want to remind you that I'm using the free version of the app and just once again, this is the final result. I know that you like creating unique videos, so I have another tutorial in which I teach you how to create a reflection effect like this one. So I'm gonna leave that tutorial in here and I'm also going to leave the subscription button to our channel in here in case that you want to keep learning cool tricks with us. I guess this is it for today and I hope to see you in the next tutorial. Bye.